Hi everyone, my name is Sophia and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my first ever BoxyCharm unboxing for the July Premium Box. Um, I actually just subscribed to this uh, subscription service in June and I'm still getting my June base box tomorrow because whenever you subscribe you're gonna get that box but on the first of every month is when they charge you so I'm getting my July and June kind of right now in July um, I really liked my July premium box I didn't unbox it here on the camera because it was just so late that like there was no point but this is the July premium and I got it today on the 16th, so still kind of late, but you're supposed to get it 15 days after um, your payment goes through, so it's kind of spot on. But yeah, I'm really excited to dig into this. If you're not familiar with BoxyCharm, basically the premium box that I have right now is $35, and you get six to seven products at a $175 value, I believe. So, yes, um, I'm super excited. Also, I am going to be trying on a few of the products here, so let's just dig in. I already, like, um, cut the tape off, but this is what it looks like. Just opening the box. Um, okay, you get a card with all of the information on it. I've heard that some people sometimes don't get their card, and that's kind of annoying. Um, but basically, I'm not going to look at it too much right now because I want to be su surprised. Um, but this is the Sunshine box and um, on here is like information about the products and the retail price. So I think I'm just going to dig my hand in and just kind of like just grab a random product. Um, so this is the first product that I'm pulling out. The box is really hot, like the products are hot because it's like really really hot outside so yeah that's my little disclaimer um so this is the laura geller line and define dual dimension eyeliner so this says create killer eye looks that stun with intense bold lines and graphic cream coal effects with this line and define dual dimension eyeliner a sleek sexy smoky eye look is only strokes away and this is 25 dollars so let's pop her open. I'm gonna keep this till the end because I do have a palette that everyone got in this box. Um, so don't wanna, oh, it's like huge. It's like really thick. It like really feels like a marker. Um, so this at the top is a black liquid liner and here is the slate coal eyeliner. So I guess this is like the pencil liner. Okay, that's weird. That's really, that's a really weird eyeliner. Like, I don't know what it would be like when you get down here. Let me try to swatch it. Okay, see, so it's like, it's kind of just like a bare. I'm really confused about this side of the product, so I, don't, I really don't know. But let's see the other side. Okay, so the other side is kind of more like a, just a marker pen type looking liner. It is still thick. I don't know why these are so thick and like big. That's really weird and I feel like that wouldn't really work well. I mean, it created a nice little line, so. So we're gonna see how this works out at the end. If I ruin my eye look um, with this, you've been warned. So the next product is this Cusio or Cuccio um, Natural, um, cuticle revitalizing oil milk and honey so it looks like a little globe it's kind of cute um and i'm actually kind of excited about this product because lately i've been doing my nails at home of course because everything going on here in texas we definitely are in for a long haul with covid so um it's interesting that this isn't like a full-on globe like it you can sit it down and it kind of angles um, but I guess you can also set it down like this. I don't really know, but basically it's like a globe. Everything's so hot. It's really weird. Um, and this is supposed to be good for your cuticles, I guess. Let me read the description. It's a unique natural hydrating complex of rich, lightweight oils with extra antioxidant benefits from vitamin E that absorb completely to nourish the cuticles and skin. 
Milk soothes and softens the skin, while honey is a natural humectant to keep the skin moisturized. That I already knew, which is kind of cool. I definitely have heard a lot about honey um, keeping your skin moisturized. It's in some of those like honey scrubs and stuff, so that's cool. Um, okay, I love the scent of this. It smells really good. And I'm actually really excited for this. And that one retails for $18. And I will add everything up at the end of this to see, you know, how much everything was. So this next product I actually am familiar with because I watched um, JC. I don't really remember his last name, but he's on TikTok. And he's like a very famous TikToker for skincare. Um, and so he's kind of like the high room of TikTok. And he's talked a lot about Biro Bitter Green Essence Toner. He really likes this product. Um, I've never in my life wanted it because it's $95. It probably says here $95. Yeah, this is a $95 toner, so I hope I hate it. <laughs> um, no, but really, I really do hope I hate it because $95 is something I will never, ever, ever, ever repurchase. Um, I don't know if this will be added in add-ons. If you don't know what add-ons are, it's basically um, kind of like a pop-up store after the boxes like have been you know sent like next month you can uh, purchase stuff from past boxes and stuff and it's like at a 70% off price so that's really really great this is what the toner looks like it kind of looks like a thicker type toner and I want to smell it basically it has a bunch of greens um, that are supposed to okay I don't really know yeah so it smells kind of like um, it smells to me like a green juice which is kind of it makes sense um i love the packaging it's super super pretty so the bitter green essence toner is packed with 33 different green vegetable extracts including artichoke broccoli and basil that will hydrate and purify your skin helping to smooth unwanted texture this mega dose of antioxidants will nourish the skin while protecting it from premature aging so that's really exciting um i definitely want this to help me with texture i have a lot of texture on my skin because of like acne and stuff so I think that this will be great to try out and see how it works with my skin hopefully this will not become part of my skincare routine because it's so expensive no but just kidding like I am really excited to try this and I do hope I like it because like for $95 it better be really good next product is the folly or fully or folly folly fire um Expensive Habits Lip Trio. So this has three matte lipsticks, and um, I like that they all come in their different like packaging. That's really cool, but it's also wasteful, I guess. So never mind. So this is the Folly Fire Matte Manipulation Trio. You know what you want, and they're not cheap. Everything has its price, but gorgeous lips are priceless. Grab our reds ranging from deep burgundy to pink nude to cover all aspects of your daily conquest. So, I don't know what the pink nude is. Let me open these because I didn't really get a chance to see what the lipsticks look in here. This one is here to slay. Okay, so yeah, it's like a red. It's, I feel like it's melting. It's like a red color. It looks really bright on the camera. It doesn't look that bright um, in person. This one is full house. So it's like a deeper burgundy. This one is Sunset Boulevard. Okay, yeah, Sunset Boulevard looks more of like a pink nude. Um, but on the box, Sunset Boulevard doesn't look that pink or nude. It looks dark. It's definitely a pink. So, yeah, we'll try these on later. Okay, down to the last two products. So this one is one of their, there's three palettes. There was two Kenya Ontivero palettes. And there was a Brow Bar by Rima palette that was going around. I love the packaging for the Kenyan Taveros palette. It's super pretty. This is the Set and Define kit. Okay, just as I thought, it's like a face kit. It's like a face kit that has a translucent powder, a setting powder, um, or like a mattifying powder, a setting powder, highlight, contour, dark contour, and bronzer. I like that it comes with bronzer and contour. I think that's really cool. And then it has like a mattifying translucent shade. Um, and yeah, 
they look, they look really pretty and they feel really nice and velvety. Let me highlight my, let me highlight, let me swatch the highlight. Okay, so the highlight looks pink upon, you know, opening the palette, but when you get into it, it kind of turns like gold, which I think is really cool. Oh, that's a beautiful, stunning color. I'm obsessed with this color now. And then the last thing is a palette that everyone got in their box. So every month, I believe, um, the premium boxes get like one thing in common. And this is the thing in common that everyone got um, this month, which is the Morphe and Manny MUA Glam Palette. So I'm excited to try this. I know that Manny is like a huge... Okay. I mean, I know that Manny has definitely been on YouTube for a really long time and he really loves makeup and it's a makeup artist and stuff so definitely um, I think that this will be a really great palette 12 shadows and two highlights and I'm really excited about these um, highlights because I know he doesn't play around with highlight um, this one's kind of similar to the Kenyon Tavares one the color Nova whereas with the Kenyon Tavares when you got into it it wasn't as pink but we'll see how they swatch on the face I'll do like the Manny one um, on my cheeks and stuff and then I'll do the Kenya one on my nose So the color story in this palette is really really pretty. It has like nice warm colors and it has um, Really great transition shades and some berry colors. I'm really drawn to this color called Aries. It looks like it has like a reflectiveness Okay, yeah, it has like a reflectiveness that is so pretty um Okay, I'm obsessed with that. That's so, 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 so pretty. So I'm actually going to start off with the color Sophie. Sophia, Sophie. Um, but it's spelled with a PH, so it's definitely not me. Um, as if it was ever going to be me. I'm going to use that as a transition shade. And I really like that this palette has a mirror because, you know, I feel like it's essential to have... A mirror these days but this shade is great for transitioning um so i'm really liking this shade for really really nice transitions now i'm going to deepen up the crease um or the outer corner and crease with zaya and it's like a darker like brown color but it's not too dark it's kind of like the transition color but on like you know a deeper level and I'm using the same brush because like they're really similar um, and now I'm gonna even further go down to actually no I'm gonna go do spellbound which is this color right here um, and it's kind of like a chocolatey brown but it has a little bit of redness to it can you guys see I really like this color now I'm gonna go in with Gamenta I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right Gamenta I guess um, and it's like a really pretty pinkish um, magenta dark color um, again I do love these colors but I don't really know why they would kind of advertise oh that's really pretty advertise this whole palette or this whole box as like sunshine when it's not really a sunshine box in my opinion it's kind of more of like a deeper color like I feel like this would be a beautiful 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 palette for um, fall and stuff so that's kind of weird to me I love how like easy these are to blend there's a little bit of fallout but that also could be my fault um, but I love how easy these are to blend now I'm gonna go in with Leo and cancer these two colors right here and I'm gonna mix them in a little bit but not like mix them with my fingers but I'm gonna mix them together on the lid in the middle so I'm going to start off with Leo kind of in the inner corner not fully in the inner corner I'm going to do like a lighter color later but kind of in the inner half of my lid but really trying to get it just on my lid and yeah as you can see that's a really beautiful just like shimmery 
um, brown color. All right, and now um, I cleaned up a little bit under my eyes, and I'm gonna do a little bit of the Spellbound color um, down on my lower lash line. All right, and that's the look. I really liked it. Um, the colors in this palette are so, so pretty, and I'm really excited to start using it more. Now I'm going to try the Laura Geller liner. I don't have high hopes for this. I'm going to do the Kohl liner on my waterline, and then do or attempt something on the top line, or lash line. So... Like, what? It definitely offers like a very smoky effect, which I think is cool if you're trying to go for that effect on your lower lash line. Because it kind of does like the whole smoky, smudgy look. I, I'm not mad at the like way that it looks, but I just don't understand what are you going to do when you get to the middle. So, I don't know. Let's try the other side. Other side I'm also really scared about because this is like thick. That looks awful. Okay, so it's safe to say I hate this. It ruined my whole eye look. Oh my god. Let me try on this side. I hate this on my eyes that did not work out I feel like my eyelids are kind of like thin so they move around a lot I don't know I hate this right, so now let's get into the Kenya Ontiveros palette and just see how this performs so I'm gonna do a little bit of the contour and the bronzer I'll leave for the end so I'm gonna do a little bit of the contour I already have a tad bit of contour on so hopefully we can tell the difference. I mean, I feel like I look definitely more contoured. I think layering contours is a little much so yeah but this is a very nice contour and it feels really nice um, blended really nicely um, and overall I'm obsessed with the formula I'm gonna take a little bit of the mattifying color and kind of just see how it mattifies my face and if it gives me any like flashback or whatever okay yeah, it's definitely mattifying my face. I really like that. I feel like in the camera it looks very white, so hopefully not. All right, and now I'm ready to put on some lipstick. I'm gonna go in with Full House now that my lips look like this. Um, this is like the darker color because it kind of goes with the look. The other ones kind of are either bright or pink, so. I'm gonna go in with this. Okay. Alright, so that's what it looks like. I really like the color. It's very vampy and very fun for like the winter time, I feel like. But right now, I don't know if I would use it. But again, I really do like the color. And it's very creamy. I don't really see it being matte. Um, it probably will matte down a little bit, but I still think it has kind of a satin finish. Um, but it's super, super thin and, and nice feeling. It doesn't look or feel dry or anything so I really like the color and I like the performance of the lipstick it was really easy to put on it was really pigmented you don't need many coats um, and yeah so I'm really happy with these lipsticks I think that they're 
um, great addition to the box, but we'll see when I use this type of colors. Alright, and that was it for today's video. I had so much fun filming it, so let me know if you guys want more box charm videos. If you do, I have three questions for you. What kind of videos would you like me to do? Would you like me to do try-ons, like, and unboxings, or just unboxings? Um, and would you like me to do the base versus the premium? Or kind of have those as separate videos and try on for those? Let me know. Um, also, when would you like those to be filmed? Does it matter, like, the upload date kind of thing? Because I'm trying to get this up on Monday. Monday? <laughs> Monday. So that you guys can see it as early as possible. But, I don't know. Um, and then last question is just what did you get in your box if you're a subscriber? Um, and I have variation 55 for the July premium. So if you got that too, let me know down in the comments below. What did you get? What was your favorite thing? Um, if you got the Sol de Janeiro shampoo and conditioner that some people were getting in their box, I'm jealous of you. That's really exciting. So anyways, that is all the questions I have about BoxyCharm. Um, but yes, this video will, will be going up on Monday just so that you guys can see it a little bit early, um, or then, like, on Wednesday since I upload on Wednesdays. But rest assured, I'll have another video coming up on Wednesday. It'll just be a vlog. So come back on Wednesday to see a vlog of my parents' anniversary little surprise thing that my sister and I and my sister's fiance are throwing them. It's going to be really extra and really adorable for like a quarantined anniversary thing. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!